Okay, guys, who wants to go first? Um, it would it would help. Okay, I have a I have a question. Yes. Um, I have a a friend. Basically, we wanted to get into business together. Yes. Um, she's developed an app mm -hmm. together with uh, also using my financial services. Mm -hmm. uh, what I wanted to know is what's the best kind of proposal that we could work together so it make it a win win situation for all of us. Okay, what what kind of partnership are you guys talking about? What, what are you looking at? I, I was looking at a 50-50. Okay. What's what's the, the app supposed to do? Well, the app is basically, you know, there's various services, functionalities as as basically what 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 you guys are doing. Uh, it's assisting up and coming businesses and businesses that are already in place, which would take care of uh, it works out a strategy and gives a, a, a feedback as to what the social media platforms are performing at. And okay. then they can look at, and then she, well, she'll do the social media side. Um, I will do the other stuff in regard with assisting businesses that have any financial or legal issues. Okay, um, is it, um, when we say 50-50, is the effort 50-50? Um, well, she's developed the app already, mm -hmm. so that, that that's where I, I basically wanted your kind of input for. Okay, um, I'll tell you from experience, um, especially with small, small, small partnerships, you know, where which are just startups and stuff. They're tough. They're very tough, and usually it's because um, you know at the beginning there's excitement of oh, can you come in and help me. But if there's no clarity on the goal and how far you're going to go, and uh, has there been any financial input from the two of you so far? Uh, she had funding from an international group. So, okay. But also uh, the other thing is, is that we go way back uh, because I have a virtual office in, in, in town and then also looking at uh, you know, various expertise that I have because I've been like in business for about 30 years. Mm. Okay. I think that um, those um, partnerships work if there is a very clear goals at the beginning of what, what you both want to achieve, that it is aligned, that uh, you, you all understand what it's going to take, like you have a five-year plan, and you all, you, know, you all know what you're going to have to put in uh, for those five years, and there's no backing out or whatever it is, uh, and most importantly, what the expectations are, because, um, you know, uh, they're, they're tough. They're very tough, especially where they, there's different, um, different visions, ambitions, and purposes. So uh, the question, I mean, uh, what you need to ask yourself is, okay, what is in it for you, number one? What do you bring to the table? And is it sustainable long term? Do you think you can, you can bring something that she's going to benefit from? And does she bring something that is going to benefit you? And it's not just the excitement of an app, you know, because apps are apps. But it, is it in, in alignment with your business? Does it help your business? Or is it part of your, your entrepreneurship journey? You've got to answer all those questions. Most importantly, if, if your visions are not aligned and the purpose is not aligned and the input is not clear from the top, uh, partnerships are, are a very, very tricky thing. That's, that's my thought. All right. Okay. Okay. Who else has got a question? There's no way. Hey, finally. Thank yes. you. As beautiful as she said she was. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Uh, I agree. Sonia, this is why I wanted to see her on video. Yeah, you see, finally. I'm sure today she knew she wasn't getting away with it. So, okay. Who has got another question? Yes, uh, Lorraine, let's go. <laughs> Um, okay, coach, yes, if we talk about online um, masterminds or kind of like your, your marketing webinars, like the ones you are doing. Mm -hmm. So I see you are doing yours, I think almost like for an hour. And the ones I've been in mm -hmm. for entrepreneurs are usually for an hour. Mm -hmm. But now I've been working with people in education and they are saying, talking about like 10 minutes, 30 minutes max. They're saying educators won't stay on longer. 
And I'm like, how much can you really share and still get your marketing message across in, in, in 20 minutes or in 50 minutes? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm either one that should batch and say, okay, we do it for 50 minutes or are they ridiculous? Okay, Lorraine, um, if you're talking to your niche and you're giving them some amazing value, they will sit for three hours. That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and the information we have is like stunning information. So I really okay. think the educator should just sit and listen. Yeah, stunning according to who? <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, where you gotta, that's where you gotta be careful, okay? That's where you got to be careful. It's got to be standing according to the market, according to the people, you know, um, on average. Okay, on average, uh, an hour's webinar is what is working on average. Uh, but I know a guy who has made, uh, who has consistently, consistently sold between ten to $15,000 uh, a month with a webinar that is uh, 90 minutes, you know, uh, but he's been practicing it for so long uh, that uh, he has perfected it. So it, it depends, you know, uh, it's like people who write copy, you know, people, the people who say, oh, long copy is dead. No, it's not. If, if you have gotten the right pitch and you have the right audience and you speak in their language and you're delivering something for them that is, you know, engaging, they're going to stay. Uh, the, you know, 15 minutes, those, those short, short term things are, are tough. They're difficult. All right. Uh, you're probably speaking to the wrong person. You know, uh, you know, when when you're making big decisions of, of investing five, ten thousand dollars or even two thousand dollars, you're going to have to take time to to figure out, does it work for me? You know, you're going to have to read through the entire thing. Does it hook you? Does it get you everything you need? How many times, you know, you're going to listen to something over and over again until it clicks? So. Um, one hour works. If it is the right crowd, it doesn't matter. That's what I would say. All right. Okay. And then linking to that, um, if we talk about the joint venture, yes. like you had some sessions like with Purbus where you had a couple of, of uh, people together and then each of them um, presented for about an hour. Yes. Um, can one do that? Let's say three people present within an hour um, and then each one is selling his own product. Will that work, or what do you think about that? It, it works if you if you advertise it properly and correctly, and you make the right noise, and you tell people from the beginning what they're going to get. If you're telling them that you know, if if I'm coming on, and all I was told was that I'm going to listen to Lorraine Jolbert, and then I come on and find that there's a Starling and a Sonia and a Sagren, I might go like, hey, what is this? You know. But if you're clear from the top and say, guys, this is a summit. I'm bringing you some of the best guys. I've got Starling to teach you about leadership. I got Sagrain is going to teach you about franchising. And by the way, Sonia is going to come and teach you guys about healing. And all this is being run by me. All right. Then when they come on, there's no surprise. Now, depending on what, uh, on how you execute on it, it could go for as long. You know, I could come in and I want to listen to Stalin, but I don't want to listen to Sonia, for example. So I might check out Stalin and then go away a little bit and then come back. Um, it is just very, very important, the clarity at the top. When I'm coming, who am I going to talk to? What am I going to, or who am I going to listen to for that matter? Okay, that clarity at the top is important. But uh, to, to go deeper, does it matter if you have a, a, the, 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 uh, the three people talking within an hour, it doesn't matter. For example, in the new year, I'm going to be doing a lot of that. And I'm going to come to you guys and I'm going to ask you guys if you want to come on and teach something. Okay, so that you can come and speak on different things during the year, so that um, uh, you're serving my people, uh, you're giving my, my audience a, a different um, perspective, which means I'm serving them better. All right? Does that answer your question, Lorraine? Yes, thank you. Good. Okay, any other question, comment, observation, anything? Transformation time, good to see you. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've got something to say. Yes, Stalin. Uh, the first thing is, uh, there's an upsurge in uh, my friend's requests uh, since you posted my picture on your um, 
on your Facebook group. And I, I, I think because of your kind words, mm -hmm. uh, there's an interest in, uh, in the work that I do. And then the second thing is, is to do with the masterminds. Okay, it just depends on the way that we define masterminds. Yes. But um, the masterminds, a lot of the masterminds that I hold, okay, one of them is that I'm a, I'm a fero I don't know if, I, if this is the right word, but I'm a ferocious reader. Mm. And sometimes what I do is I can hold a mastermind purely on a book that I've read. Mm. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, a mastermind that I, I might be holding the next few weeks or early next year, mm. next year is on, um, is on uh, the guy who started uh, Nike. Red uh, I know it. Yeah, Sh Shoe Dog. Shoe Dog. So Red. I think, yeah. So, and what I might do is that in a session or two, I might say, for example, uh, Coach Phil, come in and give us your opinion on determination. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and if you've read the book, it, 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 it will help to add value and saying, yeah, well, look, as Phil Knight in his book, you know, this is how he showed his determination. This is how it applies to, um, to, to your situation as middle management, uh, middle managers, because I mean, I deal a lot with middle managers. Mm. Okay. So yeah, I, I guess it, it, it all depends on what kind of a mastermind you're holding Yes. Uh, what value you you want to put out there, uh, but the issue is is value. You are so right. Yes. It is value, and it is the preparation that you make, and yes. uh, that uh, uh, towards that mastermind. Yeah. Uh, the, the the last thing is that what is important, and this is where I have come short, is that I have not known the worth of the work that I do, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is where this whole bonanza has been able to help me know the value of the work you're doing. You because doing the, yeah. yeah, the preparation that I take for that mastermind, it is intense. Mm -hmm. It takes a substantial amount of time. And then you charge people 50 bucks. Come on, guys. Uh. No, 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 yeah no. yeah okay i'm, I'm done, glad, I'm, done I'm, glad you got it. I'm glad you got it and um i knew that 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 was going to be a breakthrough uh stalin i knew it um because of, of how i've been um uh, coming after you and what i've been saying to you it has been intentional because uh, i saw i saw somebody on on the facebook say uh something about how you change their life and then i was thinking dude um, I don't know. I think it was one of one of one of the first or second comments where somebody said, you know, something about you and and how you you made a difference to them, and I was like, okay, uh, I need you to to look at that and say, this is somebody who's going on to live uh, an amazing life because of what you did. You can't quantify that financially, mm -hmm. you can't, but you need to be able to charge what value you bring to people's lives. So I'm glad you've done that. All right, that is super cool. Um, and you guys noticed I took your best photos. Well, me and the team took your best photos and put them out there intentionally. Uh, and uh, you, you guys look cool. You guys look cool on my, on my, uh, on my, um, on my stuff because uh, I know that um, in doing that, uh, we're both we're all benefiting. What I want is I want to check in with you guys one year from today, and ask myself and you guys what has happened, whether this session was useful for you guys or not. So don't you think that I'm just posting it for the sake of it? No, it's strategic. I'm going to come after your little candy asses if you don't do something about it. I'm going to kick your ass for the whole year. So you better step up, all right? You better step up and do what you have to do. Okay, um, there's a saying in a language which I think um, uh, Johnston will understand. There's a saying in his language which says, kwangeni raisi, kufanya ningumu. Johnson, you know what I mean, okay? Talk is cheap. So I am hoping that after this bonanza, which is supposed to end today, but I will teach all the way to the end of the year, I'll give you guys a rest, is designed for you guys to take action. You know, it is not about just talking about stuff. No, you guys must take action. I had a chat with Sagren. I hope that, uh, you know, 
uh, Modley, you got exactly what we need to do there. And I'm looking forward to working with you for the next year. You know, uh, same thing with Nulu, same thing with Sonia uh, and the rest of you. And the whole purpose is to support you guys, but also uh, be, be, be very much aware that um, I kick some serious ass if you don't do what you have to do, because I know what happens when you do. I know what happens when things are working. I know what your potential is. And most importantly, there are people out there who are waiting for you guys to do something amazing for them. There's a group of people out there who are waiting for you to step up, step into your power and do something great so that their lives can be better. And that is why we do what we have to do. So any other question? Uh, let's see, any other question, comment, observation? Anybody have got a question? Let's talk. I just want to say I'm looking forward to catching up with you soon and working with you this year. I am so grateful that I've uh, come across you, Coach. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to that too. Um, I'm waiting for you, Lorraine. I'm waiting for you, Amber. You guys, you guys better. Stalin, Stalin, you better go get a loan and come on board. I'm not letting you off the hook just like that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Coach. <laughs> Stalin, don't even think about it. I'm coming after you. Whatever you do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Victor. Victor, how are you? Mole, Mole Begong, how are you? Uh, I hope you guys are good. Any other question before? I might, um, do you guys want to learn something? Can I share some value with you guys? If you want value, you say yes in the chat box, then we'll get going. Uh, Hassan, you get ready to do what you got to do. Uh, and most importantly, Hassan, can you have that, uh, that offer which I asked you to do uh, to, get it, uh, to get it ready? Uh, because I'm going to flush it at the end of it. And what are we winning today? Um, Hassan, you have that ready for you. We are winning how to start and grow as a world-class speaker. Okay, it is totally different from how to use public speaking to grow your business to how to actually start and find your own brand and be able to position yourself in your own element as a different kind of speaker. Um, I've always told you guys, I think I told you, I, I don't know. I teach so many times, sometimes I forget what I tell who, but there's a lot of broke public speakers. Those guys walk around, but they're broke, okay? And they're only broke because they speak about themselves. They don't train people. They speak about themselves. They want to look good. They don't train. They don't do transformation work. And that is what keeps them broke. And I want to challenge you guys to say, you know what? It's possible. As long as you focus on personal transformation whatever you do in any of your of your products whatever you're doing right now you've got to ask yourself a simple question how does my product change somebody's life forever what can i do in within my product that will completely change this person's life somehow and it doesn't matter what product it is but when you ask that question often enough somehow you'll find some answers when you find those answers, they will change your life forever. Most importantly, they'll, they'll make you a lot of money. Okay, it's going to be a quick one, but it might be the most important one that I ever shared with you guys, all right? You guys know that one, yes? It is standard. If, 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 if it hasn't gotten inside your head by now, you know, I don't know what is, okay? But it's, it's standard. It doesn't matter what business you're in, whether you sell ice cream, whether you sell candy, whether you're a plumber, whatever it is, you must get attention, you must capture leads, you must make consistent offers you must get them onto the call and then of course serve with excellence i want you guys to read this and internalize it especially those of you who have not yet signed on for the program <laughs> a man who dares to waste an hour of time has not discovered the value of time i mean the value of life i want you guys to think about that big time especially with what has happened in 2021 and how different is it going to be for your 2022? How much time did you waste doing the wrong things? How much time did you waste being wasteful? How much time did you waste on, 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 uh, on things that did not add up to anything to make your life better? How much did you waste getting annoyed with things you can't change? How much did you waste gossiping and hanging out with the wrong people, with the negative energy people? How much did you waste trying to find answers in the wrong places? 
I, I want to encourage you that next year, I want you to become ferociously, ferociously mean with your time. That will change your life. Now let's do this. How are you going to make 10K a month, guys? Please, when you get this, okay? And yes, there is reputation, but guys, this is it, okay? Number one, decide that failure is not an option, period. Just decide now that, you know what? I'm sick and tired. Failure is not going to be an option for me next year. That is a decision you make right now. Guys, there's a difference between trying something and deciding that you must make it happen. Some of you, when you started coming on for the 30 day, you know, you started, you know, might, might not what, how many people started and haven't kept up. You must decide. Decide means to cut off, to say, you know what? I have decided failure is not an option anymore. I will die trying. That's where real transformation starts. Get the right foundations. Get your niche sorted out. Find the problem that you solve. And how do you solve it? The things I'm telling you, I'm repeating them because I know that is what works. I, there's no point of giving you amazing stuff that is not going to work. I want to give you what is working. Get your foundations right. Do I have a niche? Yes. Do, is, there, is there a problem in the niche? Yes. Can I solve the problem? Yes. Let me come up with a package. Let me find these people, which takes us to the next part. Decide and work on a compelling offer, service or product that solves a problem. Get your messaging right. Use the TMS. I gave you the TMS yesterday, target market statement, which allows you to position yourself as an expert so you stand out and you attract the right clients. Guys, there's nothing as, as bad as attracting the wrong client. They don't pay up. They're paying in the wrong place. They don't do the work and they give you a bad reputation, okay? Traffic, 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 traffic. Get the right attention, okay? Where are your ideal clients? Okay, what platform do they hang out on? And then when you find out which one it is, then go and work so hard before you're able to pay for the traffic. Go and work and be in their faces. I expect you guys to be able to put out at least, at least five pieces of content every freaking day. That's how you build before you start spending money. Okay? Put out great content that will attract people and will nurture the relationship and will build relationship and trust. Okay? Think about the long-term value of your clients. Every client who comes in is a million-dollar client. I want you to think about it that way. What does a million-dollar client look like? He might, that person might pay you $500 now, but if you continue helping them in their lives, then they will go on to be uh, a million-dollar client. All right? Okay. Um, I, I have still failed to figure this out, but I will eventually. Now, let me show you something. Do you guys see that picture there? Do you guys know who that is? Phil. Well, Coach Phil. Are you sure? How do you know? Must be you. You can okay. see the facial features. There. You see the facial features? I researched you. Okay. <laughs> you know those shoes? Those, those shoes were plastic shoes. Okay. If that guy... Okay, I need to get rid of... Uh, can you see that next picture? I don't know who the gentleman in the middle is. He's too handsome. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That was me. That was a studio. I don't know how many of you are old enough where you went and you got that Kodak picture. You guys remember that? And then a guy would go in a dark room and put it under some liquid to bring some stuff out. Do you guys remember that? Are you old enough? Nulu might not have an idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember that. Oh, yeah, I remember as well. Shame upon you, Amber. <laughs> shame upon you, Amber. Guys, if I can do it, if I can do this, you guys can do it. Because when I was growing up, nobody ever thought I would. But somehow when you are so focused on making sure that uh, failure is not an option and you work hard on yourself and you push yourself, and you have an, uh, a real desire to help people out there, the world will conspire to support you. And that is what I want for you guys. And I genuinely, honestly, honestly want that for you guys. It is possible. If it is for me, it is for you guys. Again, this is a business model. This is what I teach. This is what I take you through in the six-week course. This is what I, I'm going to talk to you guys about refining every day because I know this is where your 10K a month is. This is where your $10,000 a month is. Pick one niche, master it. Ask them their problem and or desire. 
solve that problem beyond their imagination, personal transformation, and then charge money for it, and then repeat it. Why, why should you change it? Just repeat the same thing. Pick a niche as a problem, solve that problem, charge money, repeat. Pick a niche, that's it. That's all you got to do, guys. Now, obviously, all of these have got, you know, where we go deeper, but this is the essence. This is the business model. Do not complicate it. Do not go putting 10,000 things to it. So, gee, I need uh, funnels. I need the uh, launch. No. First, concentrate on this. Make your first $10,000 from this. Then you can begin to add on the advertising and all the other funnel things. But first, this is what works, guys. Pick a niche. My question to you guys is, do you have your niche sorted out? Is it clear? Do you know them? How old they are? Where they hang out? What they do? Can you write a day in their diary? Ask them what is their biggest problem? What keeps them awake at night? Oh, what is their greatest desire? And does your product solve their problem beyond their imagination? Can you give them you know, a solution where by the time they're done working with you, they can't recognize themselves and then charge money for it? and charge a lot of money for it and be super proud about it. And then just repeat that. Don't go looking for, you know, uh, shiny object syndrome. And that is the biggest challenge. You're jumping from one thing to another, to one thing to another, one thing to another. I know because I did it for a long time, six years, I'm jumping from one thing to another. I used to be, there's a time I had a profile which was about seven pages or something. I was doing all kinds of stuff, project management, finance, relationships. I don't know, uh, money management. Uh, I was doing all these things because I was trying to figure out who I was, but trying to impress everybody. And there's a comedian who said the greatest way, you know, he said, I don't know the greatest way to make money, but I know the greatest way to fail. And that is to attempt to please everybody. And I want you to think about it. You cannot be of service to everybody. You cannot continue to be a wandering generality. You got to be a meaningful specific. And yes, sometimes you're thinking, you know, all this stuff, what you know is useless compared to what your people want. Besides where focus goes, energy goes. When you focus on one thing, one product and make it the best and, and, and make it an amazing product that gets results, then you can go on to the next product. Something else will open up. But first make this one the best that you can. And this is where I want you guys to start right now, today before you go for your Christmas. I want you to ask yourself these questions. What are your goals? Now, in its simplicity, I put this here intentionally, last minute. Do you see I started with your health? I didn't start with finance. I started with your health. It is intentional. And I want you to go away from traditional goal setting, not just writing it down, but I want you to create a picture of what the future looks like for you. Make it colorful. Make it amazing. Make it, you know, put colors and say where you want to live, what it will look like, what it will smell like. Um, did I carry my... Uh, did I... No, I wanted to, to show you guys an example of how how this stuff works um i can't explain it myself but guys there's there's a power in, in goal setting and, and creating these things because when you do stuff begins to happen that you can't imagine because there's a part of your brain called the reticular activating system when you give it a task and say this is what we're going to do and you focus all your energies on it it will find a way for you there are certain things that I have achieved that I said 10 years ago, and I'm thinking, wow, that came to pass. And it is, it is a case of deja vu. You're like, what? That has happened. So many of them. But it starts off with this, just sitting down and saying, okay, what are my real health goals? What does it look like? How do I feel? Where am I? How do I, you know, one of, one of my goals was I want to be in, in such peak condition that I am in better health than all my peers. Yeah. And yeah, all my friends and peers are like, yeah, yeah, no way. But guess what? I did it. I was kicking their ass left, right, and saying nobody could run faster than me. Nobody could do cardio like me, you know, and it felt good. What are your financial goals? 
do not whatever you see if you're down there right now saying yeah i know it all i know it all if you knew it all would you be on the call probably not and that is the biggest challenge to learning the moment you say i know it all i want you to write down three places you want to visit just three places that you want to visit and let them not just be no say you know what i want to go to to disney or i want to to visit japan or whatever and put it in detail. What kind of relationships do you want to have? Both business relationship and your other relationships, intimate relationships. And then career goals, how much do you want to grow this year? Where does your career, uh, where do you want your career to be in 12, 36, 48 months? And those of you who are parents, what are your parenting goals? Make that picture so powerful and amazing and get to work. Now, when you make it, Put it somewhere on your phone, put it on your desktop, put it everywhere that you can see it consistently. And then let's talk in a year's time, you'll be surprised. Okay. Guys, do you have any questions? I don't see you where you are. I see where you could be. That's why I challenge you as your coach. I'm going to kick your ass all the way to the next level. If I have to drag you across the finish line, that's what I'm going to do. And I really appreciate the sessions, though I've only attended the two. How I wish I knew what I was missing for all those days. So I would want to kindly request or ask if you are going to start the sessions once again. Because I would really want to be part of it so that I get the value of what I've been missing. Thank you. Um, Stalin, yes, I'm going to have, uh, we're going to start again in January. Um, there'll be another, another, another program that I'll do in January um, uh, for many of my uh, uh, people in the group. So uh, we'll definitely get you to know. But also, um, Hassan has got a copy of all the lessons that we did during this time. Uh, we can find a way to share that at a certain stage. So no worries. Thank you. What else? Coach, can I say something? Of course. Uh, hi everyone um so i just want to make a comment i've just started my program i think one day <laughs> and i'm so of course i'm not surprised because i know coach yeah i know he gives quality stuff so i've already started the program but it's deep it's so like, um, okay, I don't want to say surprise, but <laughs> yes, it's good stuff. I feel the transformation already. Yes. Uh, one of the big topics that made a lot of sense, of course, I've had the concept around for a long time, but in the program, the way you explained it made a lot of sense, the cause and effect. And I realized why we quit quickly. Like we don't wait for the results. Like you rip something quickly, uh, you wait for a few days or a few months and you feel it's not working out and you say, I think these things are not working out. And then you quit, not knowing that there is some, some time element. So you're going to take the actions, but the reward may not come immediately. So you need to be patient enough of course, I'm using my own ones. <laughs> you have to be patient enough to wait for, right, for the results. So I think for me, that made a lot of sense to me because I've been hoping <laughs> from one thing to another. So I'm going to, to concentrate and wait for the results. So I'm excited. Uh, when I signed up, I thought that the lessons are going to be like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm in shock. <laughs> so, but I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy that I signed up and I would like to encourage um, everyone else to really sign up. Uh, I'm personally, I'm lucky. Um, <laughs> I got to know coach a long time ago. Um, I don't want to share that story because I may tear up. Uh, the reason I got into this actually, I would not be able to do this because the first time I, I saw coach speaking, I didn't know what coaching was or public speaking or motivation. But in that moment, I knew that what he was doing, whatever it was, was what I wanted to do. 
So, and of course, I may not be where I really want to be, but I still feel that, yes, my life is still different. I've written books. I mean, I've spoken to, I don't know how many young people have traveled the world. And it was all because coach was speaking and I was like, wow, whatever he's doing is what I want to do. So thank you, coach. And I can't wait for my 2022. Yeah, that's what thank I wanted to say. Thank you. thank you. Thank you very much. I actually remember the day we met. I remember it vividly in your black skirt and white top as a university student. I will never forget. What? It. Okay, so let's go. What else? Who else has got a question, comment, observation? Come on, guys, talk to me. Brenda, Brenda, you're not going anywhere without asking the question today. Andre Mole, by the way, you don't have to ask questions. I just like. To Good evening, Coach. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Oh, who's this? Victor. <laughs> Victor, my man, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Victor. All right. Um, Coach, I, I really just want to um, appreciate you for this session. I think I joined two, three days late, but um, being here just... Um, Oops. Again, it's just like like training go and I got really really depressed after the training <laughs> but um, um, just going through the sessions and hearing you just talk and inspire and you know the 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 information that you give for free is something that is so helpful right and I'm excited about 2022 already I'm excited about working with you already thank God I met you um your scripts your presentation scripts please can you send it to me it is amazing you are so engaging like you i, I don't want to miss any second of the the sessions it's so engaging it's so enlightened it is rich you are you are you are something that needs to be studied that thank that's you. that's thank you so much thank coach and everyone that have been on the call enjoy the company <laughs> Thanks, Victor. I appreciate it. Buy yourself a couple of power banks. No more excuse of I don't have power. No more. No, 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 no. You can't be a world class performer like that. Okay. Any other question, comment, observation before we hand over? Yes, Lorraine. Okay, Coach. I also want to then link to all this and say thank you very much for this um, for 12 days. Um, I committed to one thing for this December and then this came up and I was like, no, I can't do this also. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to do that. So now I was committed to two things for December and I'm very glad because I wasn't sure the way forward. And I received a couple of confirmations and the prizes I won confirmed that also life has my back <laughs> so i'm very excited yeah. to work with you i'm very excited for 2022 mm -hmm. um yes <laughs> so thank, thank you. you very much and and the information during this 12 days um it was so on point thank you very much you're welcome um and uh sonia is coming to your house for my check <laughs> all right Brenda, talk to me. Okay, for me, where I come from, we don't say, we don't talk after when we get into our meeting late. So I was around three days late. I don't remember. So I'm so grateful, Coach. I've learned a lot of stuff, a lot of it. And I'm quite a lazy blogger and a teacher. So Basically, I have had a lovely holiday, so much, so much knowledge. I don't know. I'm so grateful. I know I'm going to implement everything. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Coach. God bless you too. I'm looking. I'm going to be watching you, Brenda. I'm going to be watching you. Don't be, you promise I record this stuff. I'll send you a copy. If I don't see three blogs every week, I'm going to come after you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what else? What else we got? What else we got? Anything else? Anybody else before we do the uh, 
Andre, yeah. Andre, Andre, you're going to say something? Who wants, who's talking? Okay, me, Anba. Ah, yes, sir. Okay, Coach, firstly, I'd like to thank you for your time and your effort. Really appreciate it. Uh, interacting with you this week. It has really been uh, tremendous, mind-changing and effective. Thank you. Uh, there's some valuable gems that I've learned from you. It's either you make excuses or you make money. That's right. And uh, I would like to thank the other members as well for the inputs and the camaraderie during this time. Mm -hmm. And look forward to our journey together from 2022 and beyond. I have a meeting with you on Monday. Yes, yes, you do. Okay. Thank you once again and look forward to the journey in the future. And wish everybody a happy Christmas and a yes. prosperous new year. God bless. You too. You too. All right. Anybody else? Okay. Going to go. It's either you make excuses or you make money. That's right. Okay. It's a choice, Stalin. Every one of you has got a choice. You can either make the choice to continue the excuses and giving excuses and being broken, angry and unsatisfied and living poorly, or you make the choice to work so hard that the world has no choice but to reward you. Guys, there's nothing that the world can do when you put in the work on yourself. It has no choice but to give you 10 times back. And that is why we say you can either make excuses or make money. Okay, over to you, Balix. Uh, we are going to be Coach, one more thing, two, two things. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, one, one is a lesson. Uh, another one, uh, I want to say something to Brenda, but I'd like her to first give me permission <laughs> to coach her for like half a, a minute. Uh -huh. So Brenda, do I have the permission to say something? Brenda, I'm waiting. Okay, Brenda might have gone to the kitchen to pour her. That's left. Okay. Me. Anyway, I just noted. Uh, no. Okay, let me proceed to the second one because she has not answered. Mm -hmm. So the second thing I wanted to say is about value. Mm -hmm. uh, about sharing value. So I think as coaches, uh, one of the key that I've learned from all these sessions is being able to give more value. It's like a counterintuitive concept you feel like okay if i'm giving them all my good stuff will they actually sign up for my programs but actually i've realized that the more i listened to you that might felt like oh my god i need to sign up i need to sign up i need to sign up so so that's one of the things i've learned that we need to give as much value as possible yeah then Bren, brenda are you back yes she's here she said pardon i Did told you she's going to the kitchen there she is. <laughs> Did she say yes? Has she said yes? Brenda, have you said yes? Okay, there's quite some noise. <laughs> it's Christmas time. So what was the question? My question is, I want to coach you or say something about your comments in half a minute, but I need your permission to do that. Okay, you're free to do so. Hey, okay, so I just wanted to comment that as coaches, uh, we need to be mindful of ourselves. I noticed that you mentioned that you're lazy. I caught that. And then you also started by saying where I come from, when maybe we join late, then we don't say something. So just let's just be mindful of the words we say to ourselves. Of course, they are sometimes very unconscious, but yeah those things play out in your life at a very unconscious level so that's what i wanted to say thank you all great to meet all of you hope to see you again happy new year super stuff happy new year so okay sorry for that i'm saying i was not com i was not uh I couldn't comment on anything because I was quite late so whenever you're late for something you shouldn't talk a lot. Like, okay, we are learning, Brenda, but who says that? it's not. Uh, it's not good etiquette joining. That no, I believe. but I have loved the whole session. Okay. So I was trying um, to engage, but 
it's Nuru and for Brenda, we are going to get you guys it's, in it's touch. Not, okay. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get you it's guys okay, in touch. Okay, you, you'll finish, you you'll finish so a coach. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, okay, we got to go. Guys, it has been an honor. It has been a pleasure. How many of you have got a drink or something so we can toast to a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, whatever you guys do? Uh, you know, I've, I've got radical ways of thinking about Christmas, but uh, do you have a cup? Do you have something? So Merry Christmas, everybody. Enjoy yourselves, whatever you do. Be careful out there. Be your best shot. Most importantly, know that you, that's right, you have the audacity to live life on your terms. Until next time, which is Sunday, peace.